All right, Be'ezrat Hashem. So, um, we continue where we left off uh, in last Shiru. And believe that we're going to try to finish, we will try to finish uh, the Perek at least according to uh, a portion of the Pirushim of the Gaon Mivilna. So we are Pasuk Tedvan. I think that's where we left, we left off. Shokav Amudeshesh, his legs, his uh, knees, Amudeshesh, they are made of, uh, they are like pillars of marble. Meyu Sagnim Alad Nefaz. And they are set, they are placed in sockets made out of gold, fine gold. Marehu Kalevanon, he looks like, he's majestic, he's grandiose like Lebanon. Bahur Ka'arazim, and he's strong and stately like the cedars, right? Like the, the, the Erez, which is the, the very strong tree. So the Gaon continues uh, to explain what that means and how what are the attributes of Am Israel or of Akadosh Baruch whose connection to Am Israel. He says, Shokaba Mudeshesh. This is the Alicha, this is the journey that Am Israel goes through to get into Eretz Israel. The sockets of fine gold, says the Gaon, represents Eretz Israel. The behavior of Am Israel, of Am Israel in Eretz Israel. So says the Gaon, there is the journey to be worthy to live in Eretz Israel, to get to Eretz Israel. And then there is the code of conduct and behavior that is expected by Akadosh Baruch Hu when we are in Eretz Israel. Mar Ehu Kalevanon, and he says, who are those, those, those people? Mar Ehu Kalevanon, yeah? He is majestic like Lebanon, says the Gaon, this is referring to Baalit Teshuvah. Why Baalit Teshuvah? Is because the credit Akadosh Baruch Hu and the optics Akadosh Baruch Hu gives to someone that is a Baal Teshuvah, that he has the strength, the vision, the, the, the determination to change his behavior and to actually do the right thing and for the greater purpose, for Akadosh Baruch Hu, right? In the eyes of Akadosh Baruch Hu, this person, He's majestic, he's beautiful, he's, uh, he's very important. That's Baalit Teshuvah. And they are white in the eyes of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, like the Lebanon. Lebanon comes from the word Lavan. Lavan means white. In the eyes of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, they are white. They are not, it's not a stained canvas that has been uh, worked on. No, when a person does Teshuvah, says the Gaon, in the eyes of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, he's completely white. Hashem does not see any fixing of the canvas. He sees a brand new, fresh, white canvas. Bahur and he's strong and steady like the cedar tree, says these are the tzaddikim. This and that all their life, they are careful of uh, doing properly the mitzvot, of not doing averot. Says the Gamit, these are the, 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 the tzaddik is fresh and, and strong and anchored like the cedar tree, something you cannot move and is always straight, always straight. And he rises high. And he's prominent, 
and he's Bahu. Bahu is fresh, he's young, energetic. We see how those Sadiqim, even when they get very old, yeah, compared to a regular individual that slowly, slowly fades out. At Sadiqim, they, they are very energetic. They're very connected to their Torah, to their mitzvot, until the last moment. This is the pirouche of that pasuk. Now, the Gaon introduces another pirouche of this pesukim, since pasuk yud uh, pasuk yud alef until the end. He says Shlomo Melech gave the uh, Kabbalistic structure of the way Akadosh Baruch Hu interacts with humanity. And he's gonna go in depth to, uh, to explain each one, which we're not gonna go into simply because uh, each one will require too much uh, introduction. But the Gaon says that Shlomo HaMelech make a major difference between the head and the cheeks. And first he says, well, we have Kisei HaKavod, Rosho Ketempaz is the Kisei HaKavod, the throne of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Ketem Paz is the Chokhmah of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The will of HaKadosh Baruch Hu is like gold. Kevutzot Av Talim. He says these are the Talmidei Chachamim that comes right under HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That sit right under the Kisei HaKavod. Shechorot Ka'orev is not the Nisyonot like he addressed originally. He gives another pirush now. He says, these are the Talmidei Chachamim that darken themselves and hide themselves behind darkness of the shiny lifestyle or whatever it is, of the shine of the Kavod, and etc. of this world for the Torah Kedusha. Einav Keyonim, he says these are the Malachim. The angels are the eyes of HaKadosh Baruch Hu that witness and report. And they, 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 and they, 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 these eyes, these Malachim, right? There are like the, the eyes of the dove. Alafi Kemayim, they sit Alafi Kemayim. These are the, the Malachim that focus on Talmidei Chachamim, that learn Torah and that are represented like the water. Rohatzot Bechalav, these are special angels that look at the Baalei Teshuvah, that bath themselves in milk, which, makes, which means that purify themselves and become white. Yoshivot al Milet. Akadosh Baruch Hu looks after the ones that are complete, that sit in completion, that try to never make a mistake, the, or the ones that do not are eligible, not eligible, but that are not uh, ex exposed to Averot like the babies. And the little children. These are the Malachim that sit below the Neshamot, below the Tzadikim, and see at those different type of people. You have the Talmidei Chachamim and Tzadikim, you have the Baalei Teshua, and you have the little kids that are not in the, 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 in the system of Averot yet. 
because they are, they are kids. HaKadosh Baruch Hu has his malachim, okay, looking after these three types of individuals. It's, uh, and these are the highest level of malachim, the closest to his throne. And then, yeah, then the, the next pasuk, which is Yud Gimel Lechayav Ka'arugat Abosem Gdelot Merkachim, says the Gaon Mivilna something very interesting. He says there's a difference between the head, the brain, all the way to the cheeks, and what happens below the cheeks. He says up to the cheeks is the mahshava, is the thought. Fix the th cheeks lower, sorry, is the dibu, the speech. He says in the, uh, the, the facial hair of a man starts by the cheeks, right? It starts here and goes down. If, if, if you shave, I don't know, but uh, anyways, I think I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a proof. Uh, from the, from the, from, okay. And he says the Chachmea Kabbalah, or Chachmea Pachsu, Yodea Pachsu, people that know how to read faces, based on the, 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 the structure of the hair, and we, we spoke about it, based on the, 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 the facial hair of a person, you can know if he's the Doveremet or not. If the person speaks the truth or he does, he's not speaking the truth. Oh. If the, the, his content it has depth or it's shallow. All this just by looking at the facial hair on the face. Siftotav Shoshanim, the lips are the koach of the Talmidei Chachamim, that when they speak, their words penetrate the heart. You have people, they talk, they talk, they talk, and nothing moves, no, nothing, nothing gets in. So he says, says the Gaon, HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives the power of the Talmide, to the Talmidei Chachamim, to the Tzadikim, to all of the Hashem, to have the lips, the words that come, go straight into the heart. He says, the words of the person and its ability to impact the heart of individuals is because you have another layer of angels that are called but the same. They call me from the camp of my kid. I go out and I come back. No problem. Says, says the Gaon, the ability for the words of a person to penetrate the heart of people is because HaKadosh Baruch Hu put in place what is called influencers. Uh, the lower level of angels that are called the Seraphim. The Seraphim are the ones that were put in place to monitor and control the speech of people. Yadav Gelilezav, now we go down to the hands. He says, these are the Hayot. These are a lower level now of angels that are called Hayot, that monitor the actions of men. So we see Meusadim al Adnepaz that are that are comparing every, uh, every individual's actions to mitzvah or avera so the malach for every action that the person does he's comparing is the person did the mitzvah or did he do avera mitzvah avera mitzvah avera 
gathers all this information and brings it up to Akadosh Baruch Hu. These are the Hayot. So we have the Seraphim, we have the Ophanim, and we have the Hayot, right? The Seraphim are the ones that monitor the Tzadikim, the Mahshaba, the thoughts, okay? In the Tzadikim, in the Ba'al Teshuvah, and in the, the, the to, to protect the babies, these are the Seraphim. Then you have the Ophanim. The Ophanim are the ones monitoring and controlling the speech of a person. And then you have the Hayot, which monitor and control the actions of the person. Me'av Amudeshesh, the, the the stomach that we spoke about, right? The body that we spoke about uh, in the first Pirush says, this is the Galgalim. These are the asters in creation. The moon, the star, the, the uh, Mars, uh, Neptune, Jupiter, etc., etc. That have themselves Malachim that make sure that they are in orbit and fulfill their purpose. So we see, we see that based on how the Gaon learns, you know, on the second Pirush, Shlomo Amelech explains to us the structure of the creation based on Kabbalah. We have the Kisei Akavod, Right below the Kisei Kavot, you have the Neshamot of the Talmidei Chachamim. Under that, you have the Malachim. Under the Malachim, you have Seraphim. Under the Seraphim, you have the Hayot HaKodesh. Under the Hayot HaKodesh, you have the Galgalim. In, under the Galgalim, and this is the Pasuk Tetvav, Shokav, the legs, right? The legs, the... the the, the knees, Amudeshesh, that are made of, 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 uh, of marble, says the Gaon Mivilna, are made of the three elements, which is air, water, and fire, that are sitting on the earth. Meusadim alad nefaz, that are sitting on the earth. The first letters of Aleph, Mer, of Avir, Maim, and Esh, if you take the, less, like the, the, the sheen of the Esh to, to make the difference, it's, the, it, it are the letters Aleph, Mem, Shin. Aleph, Mem, Shin are the three letters that Kadosh Baruch Hu chose to create balance and uh, vertical channels in creation. They are, the, they are called Imot in the, in the Sefer Yetzira. They are called emot. They are the mother letters. Aleph comes from the garon, a. Mem comes from the lips, and shin comes from the palais and the and the, uh, the 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 tongue. Three different ways to pronounce letters. They are called emot, and the Aleph, the Avir, is, if you see a, uh, like a balance, the Avir is the Lashon. The Avir is the one that, that, uh, that brings balance between Maim, which is Chesed, and Din, which is Esh. Chochma is Maim, Bina is Esh, and the Tiferet, the Malchut, etc., the, the middle vertical is the Avir. <clears throat> and he says it's important because, he, uh, uh, why am I saying this? Simply so that you can understand what does it mean, Alad Nefaz? Ad Nefaz is the socket of fine gold. So says the Garon, why is the word socket in plural? You could say socket. Why sockets? He says, because we know that the earth sits on seven letters also, okay? 
It's called, the letters are Beget Kaporet. Beget, Bet, Gimel, Dalet, Kaporet, Kaf, Peresh, Taf. These are Teomot. Each and every of these letters can be pronounced two ways. Bet, Vet, Gimel, Gimel, or Gimel. Dalet, Dalet. Kaf, Kaf, Pe, Fe. The Resh is the only one that we lost pronunciation about. We don't have the Dagesh in the Resh, although there are a few places in the Torah, in the Nach, where the Resh has a Dagesh. In modern Hebrew, there is no Dagesh in the Resh. And then you have the Tav Tham, right? So in the Yemenite community, for example, you will see this difference in their pronunciation much more than by the Ashkenazim or by the Sephardim. These are called Beyet Kaporet, it's seven letters. Earth says the Sefer Ayetzira, and here the Gaon, is based on seven, on these seven letters, which represent the seven continents. You have Europe, Africa, Asia, North America, South America, Australia, Antarctica. Each one represents one letter. <clears throat> and this is why, says the Gaon, <clears throat> they sit on sockets in plural of fine gold, these are the, 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 the elements that reside on earth. The three elements that we say, yeah? The, the uh, avir, uh, air, water, and fire that sits and reside and control and empowers the seven continents. Says the Gaon Mivina, this is how a person can be always pure and white and fresh and strong and dynamic all his life is when the person knows and is aware of the, of the control, the cameras, the eyes that Carlos Bonfou put in place to monitor the, the, his actions. And when he understands how the structure works and helps the structure work better for the one who put this system into place, which is a Bo. <clears throat> I try to summarize as uh, simple as possible what the Graon tries to teach us in his second Pirouche, al Pia Kabbalah. His chech, his, uh, his mouth, right? His chech is delicious. And he's all delightful. This is my dodi. This is my beloved. This is my rei, right? This is my darling, Benot Yerushalayim. Says the Gaon Mivina, Hikomam Takim, the sweetness of his mouth is the Torah Kedosha. This is a Kadosh Bauchu, this is who he is. Mekuloma Hamadim, and he is delightful by what? By his mitzvot. You see that Shlomo Amelech doesn't see Akadosh Baruch Hu, doesn't identify Akadosh Baruch Hu, doesn't relate to Akadosh Baruch Hu in any other way, but Torah mitzvot structure on how to connect to him. 
This will this was Shlomo Amelet. There is nothing else but that. And he says, Zedodi, you want an identity? You want to know how Akadosh, who Akadosh Baruch Hu is? This is who Akadosh Baruch Hu is. And this is all the good he does to me. This is how delightful. This is my beloved. This is every, my darling. This is what he does for me. He put a whole structure for me to connect to him. A structure I can understand. I can see. I can, a ladder I can go up to. He put a system to protect me. And therefore, says the Gaon Mivina, Shlomo HaMelech says, Ani mit onen, umit abel, umit This is why I mourn and I cry and I lose my sleep over the fact that he left me, over the fact that he disconnected from me. This is this is the end of the uh, of the Perek according to the Gaon Mivina. Very complex. Uh, uh, yes, yes. The second Pirush is definitely very structural and uh, architectural according to Kabbalah. But uh, yes, I, I, I didn't touch anything really uh, that is uh, of real true essence. I just gave the, the simple structure of it, but it is uh, indeed very, very important you, to understand. You said each letter, each letter represents um, one continent. Do yes. we hold that the continents were together at one point? Yes, well, so that, yes, yes, yes. And then you, it was, uh, it was I just like, the birth of the letters, the birth of the letters. It came from the U that then it started opening up in different letters. Got it. But Alpia Kabbalah, each letter has a bracha, each letter has a power. And it's, I don't want to go into it, but if 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 you learn Sefer Yitzira and the Beget Kapore, the seven letters starts Perik Dalet, the four, fourth Perik of Sefer Yitzira. The first three brakim, it talks about Emesh, about Aleph Memshim. Okay, and how this represents Chokhmah Bina and, and Da'at or Tif Eri. And after that, the Zayin, which represents the seven days of, 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 the, of, uh, of the week, it represents the seven, the, the, you know, seven Nefashot, level of Nefashot, the Chulu. Part of that is the seven, the seven continents. And each letter, each continent is blessed by one letter. And you can see the behavior of the people on that continent or whatever happens in the continent based on what the letter portrays. It's incredible. But that's for the Sefer Yetzira. These are the secrets of Ramavin who left us in writing. Wow. Incredible. Yeah. Wow. And this is so, 40,000 meters high. Uh, uh, yeah, more, <laughs> more. But Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem, we at least we were able, we completed the fifth perek according to the Gaon Mivina. Now we have to go back to the to the to, to the, the Malbim, Malbim. Uh, and see how the Malbim defines Akalosh Baruch Hu, the Re'i de Dodi. Bebuchim to you, Bebuchim to you. Amen. All right, love you. Love you guys. So, what to Nisiatova? Amen.